Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to add any song as a ringtone, text tone, or alert tone on your iPhone and you don't need a computer. This is a completely free process and I'm going to make it as easy as possible. Let's get started. All right, so I've got the iPhone 16 Pro here, but should work with iPads or any iPhone that has at least a fairly recent version of iOS installed. And we're gonna start by opening up our Safari app here, and you're going to go to the website zedge.net. Now, I strongly recommend you guys watch this entire video and follow these instructions because there's a few things within here that can be tricky. So make sure you follow the right way. Otherwise, you end up with sections where it's asking you to pay. But this is completely free if you use the website, not the app. So don't tap on get the app. So once you're on zedge.net here, all you do is tap on these three little lines at the top left. It'll bring up some options here. We're just going to tap on browse now. So let's go through actually downloading a ringtone here. So we'll start. We're going to tap in the search bar. I'm just going to search for the Halloween soundtrack. So I'm just going to type in Halloween. Tap search. And it's going to pull up wallpapers as well. So I'm going to actually tap here and just strictly make it ringtones and then tap search again. Search any way you want. And there they are right there. If I tap on the little play button. You can hear it. And if I want to download, I'm going to tap outside of that play button. It opens like this. Again, don't tap these ads. It's pretty heavy on the ads, this web page here. But you can tap on download here. It's going to prepare the download. So you're in this queue for about 15 seconds. Once the queue is done, it'll prompt you like this to download the ringtone. So we'll tap on download. You'll see down here in Safari, you have the little download icon. You can tap that. You can tap your downloads and you can see the downloads you've been downloading. I've done a few here just to make sure it still works the same way. We'll tap done and we're just going to exit Safari. Now, just so you know where your downloads go, if you open the files app, another app that's on your phone, usually when you download things from Safari, they'll end up in this downloads folder. You can check there for it if you want. But uh, we're going to start with the next step here, and that is opening up GarageBand. Now, this should be on your phone already. It's a pretty large application. If you don't have it or deleted it, just go in the App Store, search GarageBand, download it again. So open that up. And mine opened up like this, but yours will most likely open up in a section like this. You might get prompted with some tutorials. Just click next, 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 get through it all, and then just swipe left until you get to audio recorder. Give that a tap. If this comes up, just tap OK. And now there are some settings in here that we need to configure so that the ringtone works as it should. The first one, have a look at this little triangle. If it's blue, we need to disable it. So this little metronome here, we're going to tap on it. It turns white. That's disabled. Now we're going to set the bars. So like how long the ringtone is going to be. So we're going to tap this tiny plus at the top right. It opens up a page like this, and you can see it says eight bars. We want this to be 30 bars for a ringtone, so like 30 seconds. If you have text tones and things like that, you can change it to what you want. So we're going to set that to 30 here for a ringtone and tap done. After this, you're going to take note of that little square there that looks like bricks, and we're going to tap on that. And it's going to open up our timeline where we can add our ringtone and modify it if we need to. So from here, you're going to tap this time on this little loop. And when you do that, it opens up a page like this. So we want to focus on the file section because that's where we downloaded our ringtone. So we'll tap files. I already have a couple here. Yours will be blank. You're going to tap on browse items from the files app and you want to find the ringtone that you downloaded. The easiest way is to just go to recent as it'll show you the most recent ringtones you have. You can search here or even browse. So we're gonna grab one here. I'm just going to choose uh, one of my Halloween themes here. This one here, you'll see it'll appear in about a second. Once it does, you're going to tap and hold, then drag and you're kind of dragging it into the timeline like this. And you wanna make sure it goes right to the top and to the left. You can tap the play button up here so you can hear your ringtone. 
okay? Now you can actually modify this ringtone if you'd like, so you can drag the edges. So if there was a section you didn't want, even from the front, you could do that as well. So if you wanted a certain section of a certain song to be played in your ringtone, you can do that. For this example, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And when you're ready, you can create your ringtone. So we'll start by tapping on the top left here. There's a little triangle. You're gonna tap on my songs. It'll open this page here. It might load for a little bit. You wanna tap and hold on this. And you're going to tap share at the top right. When you do that, you get three options. Obviously, we're making a ringtone or a text tone, so we're gonna tap this option in the middle. And you wanna name your ringtone so you know which one it is. So for this, I'm going to delete my song and I'm just gonna write Halloween. Once you're done, tap done. Once you've named it, tap export at the top. It's going to start exporting. When you see this prompt, tap okay. Now just exit the GarageBand application and you're gonna open up your settings app. From here, you're gonna scroll down to where it says sounds and haptics. And here you can change your ringtone, text tone, and all of these different alerts using the ringtone or text tone you just downloaded. So for this example, let's just open our ringtone and you can see right there, Halloween, the one we just created is there. If I tap on it, you can see it starts. You can do the same thing in your text tones and all of these as well. So if I tap on text tone, you'll notice it's not there. You actually scroll down because we saved it in the ringtone section, but it'll be right there. And that's pretty much the process here. So make sure once again, you go to the right website at zedge.net. You don't download the application. You don't tap on any of the ads. You don't tap download here. You make sure you tap exactly the ones I showed you. So hopefully this video helped you out and helped you get free ringtones on your iPhone. No use of a computer. I tried to make it as easy as possible, but if you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I will do my best to help you out. As always, I post tons of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos. So if you're looking to learn more about your iPhone and get the most out of it, check the link in the video description to learn more. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.